Good evening, good evening. How is everyone today? How is everyone today? I'm doing quite well myself. A bit tired, to be honest. My energy levels are a bit low today, but that's alright. Yeah, this is going to be the first of a weekly art stream. I think it's a good time slot to go for it. So, it works for me, and it's going to work for you, whether you like it or not. Get my mic around a bit. God, my desk is an absolute mess. My mother recently sent me an Easter basket. And as such, uh, I have so much candy absolutely everywhere. What's the resolution of this year? I have started absolutely nothing. My setup has also been kind of messed up lately. I'm trying to make everything oriented correctly. There we go. I finally have access to my main again. What? What happened to my capture? Do I have to just... If I click on this, does that work? Ooh, wow. We are getting some images today. Let's, um... Wow, we are having issues today. Let's swap screens again. Wow, no, it just isn't working. All right, let's. All right, let's close that and open Krita again. Well, that's not good. Here, let me mute things. I could possibly hear it myself. I don't think so. It seems like on my end, the actual audio for me specifically seems okay. Ah, and now we have Krita again. Perfect. I don't know what's happening on your end, because, like, I can check it on mine. Yeah, it seems okay on my end. Yeah, try restarting, it might just fix it. Alright, let's see. I have... Reference. Actually, no, I don't. I don't actually have a reference at all. I started sketching this thing, and I kind of like figured out the pose I want to go for. But besides that, I got like nothing. We're just gonna go for it today. Yeah, okay, basic shape. going to be from like above and we're going to have a foreground picture. It's going to be a POV shot of effectively a person grabbing the wires and just ripping them out of this, this construct. General idea. So we're going to work with that, see where that takes us, and 
probably cry a lot because it's been a while since I've done drawings like this, I'll be honest. But that's okay. We're just gonna try it, we're gonna cry, we're gonna have a good old time, and you can bully me into doing things because that's what you do. That's what you fellas do. No, it's been a while since I've done this. Do I have like any actual references today? No, I don't. Okay. Let's start with the body shape, because that's relatively simple. Okay, we're just going to kind of figure this out. For these kind of robot types, I like having basic angular shapes for the main body. At the end of the day, this robot is a twig. You get used to it. Specifically because of the tiny waist. has been a while since I've done digital art like this. I know exactly what I want out of it is the bigger issue though, because because of that, I mean, they're gonna be so unsatisfied with where things are gonna be going. Another really possibility if we get so mad at this that instead, we just swapped portrait practice instead. some references real quick because I'm having issues. POV. I'm gonna look it up again. Who knows? POV. Oh god, that's concerning. So, oh, I haven't seen. Um, we're up to a few more viewers. So, thank you, Brig thank you, Brigham Man, if you said anything. Oh God, I'm looking up uh, image references. But when I googled this like this specific kind of reference I wanted, the first link decided to be like, yeah, this is gonna be Pornhub. I'm like, what the hell? Um, I'm just trying to get like a violent pose. And I do not wish for pornography today. That's not what I asked for. Hmm. 
Zoom the sketch a bit. Because the idea is kind of like, then you have this person in the foreground being the viewer itself, grasping onto the wires and just kind of ripping them out of the chest. I don't know how to like execute that. Where's my sketchbook? Like, I did a sketchbook first. Let me get that. sketchbook at least. Okay, that I can kind of work with. It's not exactly... It's not a really inspiration when it's something I've already done. We're just going to try and refine it though.
there maybe and then let's put it like there ripping these cords out the chest cavity maybe See where it takes us. The rest of the leg over here, maybe. Perhaps it should be going this way, though. I'm not sure if I like this yet. Is there another piece I could work on today? I don't know. Let's yeah, just try and go forward. Let's see where it takes us. Drop the opacity down. Then we can kind of work with it there and see where it takes us. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Alright, let's start with the robotic figure. I think that'd be a good, good place to begin. Oh, 
Oh, today was such a hassle getting to and from work. It took an actual hour for a bus to even show up to take me to work. It was so rough, my man. I technically could say why, but it would dox me, so I probably shouldn't. Even though, like, it is pretty easy to find my location, it is... It is recorded and out there. Like, it is really easy to find out where I... The city I live in. Like, that's... That's not a hard thing to do. I don't really care, to be honest. city like you're not gonna find exactly where I live my man also I'm like somehow gets my IP address or something like that, of that sort we are nothing's happening here them, but I still don't care for them. I'll admit that much. Ooh, what is that one? Oh, Crimry Whip. Cream whip. Cream whip. Whip cream. Oh, the crim crim rick weep. How sad. Doesn't get the appreciation from me. It's it's normal. Don't worry. Not many people get my appreciation. It has really been a while since I've done, like, any digital art. Especially none of this sort. Like, it's been a while since I've done my robotic figures, too. But you know we like them with the skinny waist. Yes, he is stepping on his crotch. There aren't many, like, good points to step on the robot. I'm sorry. It's just how it works. I don't like that. Let's go like this. We need a little more texture added to this. That's pretty good. I would like an area of this sort. Nope, not what I wanted. Thank you. I can definitely do this better by hand. Don't 
Don't like it. Moving, moving back. Come on. There we go. Hmm. What else has been going on with me lately? I've been real busy with school, to be honest. I cannot say I'll whip in, in Nay Nay. I do not know how to do the whip Nay Nay. I am also like 24, my man. Now these lines are pretty shoddy. Maybe we have to use a smoother one. That looks so much better. I love this line tool and I absolutely hate it as well because there are so often times that just don't work out. I will dab for you. I am honestly considering making a magic chemist dabbing emote. I think it would be very funny. Okay, let's see. Some long lines of that. Uh, L, more of a circle. kind of reminds me of the um, long fall boots you know from that game the portal game we port holes it kind of looks cool it's getting there Now there's the thought of how do we want to move on with the other leg? Do we just want to like shatter it? So that is very much a possibility. Hmm. Oh, we're also not done. We want to have bits of texture here so that we can really see that this is a rounded piece. I also, I'll be honest, I know I've worked in this lower resolution for like all the other photos for my game, but it's starting to wear on me. I don't care for the low resolution stuff anymore. I want to do higher resolution things. I want cooler things. Ah, I want to get more of painting as well. How sad, how sad. I was also talking to one of my coworkers today about, yeah, I have really learned so many different um, forms of media when it comes to art.
I have died. Like, let's see. Yes, we're gonna be doing some robo gore. It's not the typical kind of thing, but we are gonna try and obliterate this boy. And don't worry, although he is stepping, all of the other characters are stepping on their crotch. It is not obliteration in the sexy sense. Unless you're into gore, I guess, but like, it's abstract gore as well, so are you gonna get off to abstract art? I don't know. I don't know you. Technically, it wouldn't be impossible to do if that's your type of thing. I'd be kind of concerned, but you know. All I know is that I'm probably not pile of arms. Oh, good for you. I'm glad you're not pile of worms anymore. The curse has been lifted. Oh, the curse has not been lifted. Oh. To worms you shall be again, I deem it. From worm you came, to worm you shall be returned. Forever a worm. Oh, something I haven't done yet. Actually, I have a Discord server now. I don't have a command to reach it, but I do have a Discord server now. Um, it is. Oh god, where did I go? It is in my about page. Uh, here I'll just send a link to chat. A discant cord server. God damn it, Krim. Why do you gotta make me hydrate? You know I didn't bring a drink. God, fine, I'll get up. One second, let me... Where am I? Is this my... Yes, this is <laughs> this is my thing. All right, invite people. Uh... Uses... Sure. Here you guys go, it's a link to my Discord. It's still pretty new, I don't have that much to it yet, but it works. And I keep opening the wrong things. Where is Krita? There it is. Hello, we're back. Oh shit, I need to get my drink! Yeah, I try and always have tea, but like, it, it, it's like every time you make me hydrate specifically, I don't have a drink on hand. So I gotta keep on getting up. It's 4 a.m., where are my Discord kittens? Shrine, what? <laughs> what, do, what do you mean Discord kittens? Also, I'm considering um, adding some Streamer, not streamer stuff. Um, every time I clap, my chair creaks. Anyway, I want to have some like uh, viewer interaction things that are down at the bottom of my screen here, and I want them to kind of just hang out so that it could look like there's an actual audience in the room with me. Ooh, a shrine bog. Oh shit, I need a hydrate. Be right back. We get myself some tea because Krim made me hydrate. Also, there's new channel point rewards as well, so if you want, you can also redeem those. So 
be right back and get myself some tea so I can scald myself because Krimrick wills it. What are you talking about? I leave for a minute, and like, what is happening? What if I told you all the Discord kittens were turned into fish? Discord fish, disco, disco fish, disco dis. There's no stopping you, Shrine. Where is there? Dis fish, dish, dish, fish, dish, the fish, the fish, dish, fish, dish, dish, fish, dish, fish, fish, fish. I am fucked. I don't know how to save things anymore. How dare you? Anyway, I got my. Uh, gingerbread tea. Time to scald myself. Ooh, it's hot. Ooh, it's real hot. I can't drink that. I'm crying. But it's okay. It's in a cat mug. Here, I'll send a picture of the cat mug to the Discord. You can have the cat mug fixed. Don't worry, it's got like, things. Where even is the Discord? Hello, it's not my Discord, that one is. Media. Cat mug. Cat mug in the media. All right, now back to drawing some weird images. Maybe I'll bark, woof, hiss, nay, oink, boo. Oh, it's, yes, the favorite streamer, cheese it That's me. Ah, uh, Brink of Man, I should turn on uh, text-to-speech for you. I don't know how to, but I'll figure it out. So that way, when you actually do these cheers and bits, we can have some text-to-speech to say any weird things. Alright, back to what we're doing. I think that's enough of the main body. Am I cheese fish? Is that what we're saying? I could be a cheese cracker. I am like half white. Am I your little goldfish cracker? Is that what you're calling me? Am I no, am I no longer your precious little meow meow? Am I just a goldfish cracker to you now? I'm just an item to you, aren't I? God, what am I doing? I don't know anymore. Body lines. Killer body lines. All right. All right. What? What race should the person that's murdering them be? Oh, thank you. I like to always say who I'm playing. I usually use White Bat Audio on YouTube. They have some really good funky stuff. And they have some really good like metal stuff as well. I also this is their chill synth synthwave mix. I also like the 90 horrors one, that one's good. No, it's not going to be a worm. I was going to say the main options are plant folk, bug folk, um, minotaur-esque, or... God, what even was the last one? Bird folk. But the bird folk wouldn't make sense for this. 
Oh, I'm so glad uh, your seven-year-old brother loves my uh, things. I showed um, a worm, maybe a bug, but technically it's an insect folk that are part of this. No, I'm not gonna do worm fish. So no worm. But yeah, um, I actually showed off some of my builds in the soup discord recently. That is too small. And apparently people were like, well shit, I guess I'm bad at playing Minecraft. And like, god damn it, that's exactly what I don't like people to do. And what the hell is that one? There's some terrifying uh, emotes in that person's chat. Okay. Hmm. Maybe it'll just be a human this time. Go oh, look at my arms and how they work. Boosleys. No worm. Yum. Delightful. I also gotta add honey to this tea that I made with some burn me. Alright, good night, Shrine. Enjoy your sleep. I'm gonna have a nice time. Yeah. Like with Minecraft specifically, my main thing is I I don't want to make people feel like, oh, I'll never do that well. No, I want people to see and think, oh, this is what's possible. And think, oh, maybe I could do that someday. Because it just takes, oh, it just takes practice. It always does, like that's always a thing. This shit always takes practice. Long thigh. Got some nice calf action in there. Okay, I have a. Perhaps I should open an incognito tab. How do I do that? Incognito mode. Zilla. Private window. No, I'm not googling this. Never mind. I, I I don't feel right doing that right now. Yeah, it, it's always kind of weird feeling like get sad over someone else's art. Or it's like, wow, that's exactly what I didn't want for this. Thanks for that. motorcycle rally thing again. Every now and then, like, it's every couple of weeks it feels like. But, um... People on motorcycles just kind of rampage their way through, um... through the streets. And it's kind of something. These motorcycle noises. Yeah, yeah I know, um... How did I completely forgot Harp's name for a moment? I do not know. Anyway, I know Harp complains about, about, about them a decent amount.
course is correct? Probably not. my art style has taken a long time to develop and only over the past like year or so has it even fully gotten anywhere quite good it feels like come on there we go style is very much developed into very much, very much developed into very much, yes. I mean, everyone starts from anime. Almost everyone starts from anime style. That is not something to be ashamed of. That is just normal. Don't like that. I don't like that as it is. for gore. Yeah, like... Nope, not that one. Yeah, genuinely. I, my art style has developed so much over the past year especially and developed into this kind of like very interesting, odd, almost this combination of abstract and, um, I don't like that. It's very much a combination of abstract, it's like abstract fantasy, it's kind of what it feels like. think where my actual roots came from. I remember wanting to draw... Honestly, my roots probably are from furry art. More likely than not. Because, I say this a lot, I was a furry back in, um... Like, middle school, early high school. And... I still follow a few of the artists today, just because... I genuinely, highly enjoy their art styles. The actual style I focus on now, though, is completely my own. Like, I'll show you. I don't think Wall- was it? Wall yeah, Wall Wallinter Magnolia. I don't think you've seen much of my, my other stuff, so I'll show you a few pieces. Um, this is what I did recently. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting style. We've also got... This one's a bit old. No, no, let's go with this one. This is, this is my new design for my plant folk. I really like it. Uh, he, he turned out so cool. Where are some other ones I really like? Oh, I really like this pose as well. It's 
So basically, this is all for a card game I'm building from the ground up. It's got some similarity to Magic, some to Yu-Gi-Oh, but it's very much its own thing. And there is a base storyline going on throughout it. It's kind of built on the foundation of fallen futuristic society that kind of like... It went a little too far for... Um, basically, they went too far and... And it caused a massive cataclysmic event that destroyed everything. Yeah, the sexy bug. Yeah, some of these have some weird color variations now. I don't know, it looks better in their originals. I have I have their original copies elsewhere. These are just some of the backups. Ugh, that one looks real bad like that. Oh well. Let's actually open the original documents. I think that could do better. Investigation things, like our carriers, my signals, trade, memory counts small. I actually really like this one. This one turned out really cool. It's a very simple, um, it's a very simple concept, but just turned out fantastically. But anyway, yeah, this is all from a card game I'm building. And the game is being built from the ground up, and the design is basically just fantasy built on the ruins of a futuristic society. And the magic of the world is kind of, it comes from another dimension and it has shaped the, the major races. So that's why the major races and the major races are based on the four aspects of, or, of aura that exist in the world. Those four aspects being creation, destruction, alteration, and investigation. It all ties in, but it's a long conversation to have. I mean, if you, if you want, I can definitely, definitely get with it though. Yeah, the, the game itself is, it's a lot of, it's very interesting. And this project has definitely um, taken so much more out of me than I thought it would. Specifically because we are over 70 pe unique pieces of art into this. And that's only about halfway. But hey, that's kind of all about the growth. Yeah. If I could show you the... Yeah. I actually have a full, like, Google Drive document dedicated to this thing. Let's see. I might be able to pull it up one second. Let's change the capture. My man, I've been doing this for a while now. Oh. Alright, it's this one. Oh god, I hit things. Yeah, this entire spreadsheet is every card in, in the in the game so far. It's art status, well, it's, it's the code for what the card is, the cost of it, its name, the type, the subtype, the, what a text is on the card, if it has attack, defense, what's the status of its art. I've been working on this for a while now. 
There's 149 different cards, though. We've done just over 70. Alright, we're back. But I've also been working on this for... God, it's been a while. I think it's been over a year and a half now. I was doing the main wires. I want to use this one now, thank you. Yeah, I want to have some flow to this. I want to have this kind of like flowing down around and back through like this. You know? and I can just draw on this. It doesn't matter. It's kind of this directionality if I want that directionality. I want this like wiggle. I want the wiggle. You know? Do you ever just want the wiggles? I want the I want the wiggles dead. figure out who you are. I don't actually know who the Wiggles are, I'll be honest. I know they're... I think they're a children's band? I think. I don't know. But like... Ugh. Oh yeah, they have colored shirts, don't they? And they had the fruit salad song, if I remember correctly. Killer boots. Alright, let's get these boot lines in. You know I love me the boot boys. Alright, perfect. Don't you dare pause the music. How fucking dare you continue. Also remove the crotch stepping aspect of this. Like, we get it. Mr. Robot, you want your balls stepped on. But do they need to be right now? Who knows? Who knows? I honestly don't know if it fits fully. Or if I just want this thing getting ripped apart, just inherently. Because I feel like this part kind of like takes away from the focus almost.
maybe we just stab him up. Back is always a good idea. I don't mind stabbing this guy to death. Murder is okay. God. I'm also kind of... Just because he's a, he's a robot doesn't mean he's not alive. I have not specified whether or not these guys are, are conscious or not. I have specified in, in though that although I haven't specified that they are or not, I have said that everyone else thinks they are not. They think they're just machines like everything else. So more likely than not, they probably aren't. But they have thoughts and feelings. What are those thoughts and feelings though? Thoughts are just worms. Hmm. No thoughts had worms. My brain's full of worms! Alright, where would we like to stab this man? By there. The wall here. Do the leg. Maybe he's like maybe he's already dead. He's been suspended through whatever stabbing him. Someone leaning against the wall and just been. I don't know. The best. The only word coming to mind is getting pile drived. But that is a very different meaning. So this, there's this thing when it comes to abstract art that I realized, especially my own. There has to be levels of either symmetry or complete opposite. So like, if I'm gonna stab the guy this way, then I have to, if, and if I'm gonna stab him this way, then I need to have another line like this or like this. So it has to be the parallel lines somewhere. Or, they all have to stab the same point of origin. Like, as if it were coming from the hand, it would be like that. Hmm. And I can't, I don't know why, but for some reason that, those effects make it look so much better. This uniformity to it. at all. So 
need to get an idea of the background as well. So, this guy's probably propped against a wall that way. It's like, this is the floor here, and it's going in this direction. And then the wall is going up here. And that should give us a better idea of what we're working with. We could also have him like clinging on to the last bits of whatever artificial life he has. With just a blade going through the head. And he's been like taken apart for pieces. People like coming by and just taking one piece after the other. Like, that is a good possibility. Because this card is gonna be called Out with the Old. then there's like this almost juxtaposition of what is new versus old at this moment. supposed to connect to this area underneath. Some of them intact. The others just... hanging loose. You know how it is. You know how it is. Bad boy, thank you. Clean that up. I think this can work. Hmm. I am also trying to think of some more of the expensive, um, channel points rewards. I added the sing-along one, that one. It, it's basically karaoke, but without the actual background music, so it's just me awkwardly kind of singing alone, which I think is funny. And if it's bad enough, 
then it's just some embarrassing tales, right? But I'm trying to think, like, what other things would you guys like to see as channel point rewards? Because, I'll be honest, I'm running out of ideas. Let's do the body first. It's okay, you can steal from other like channels as well. If like, oh, I like that this person does this. That that's fine with me. I'm just looking for more things to do. Because I, I like being able to interact with you guys a decent amount. If I can find some ways to like do some more, it would be, I think, quite a, quite a positive effect. I just need to figure out what I can do. You know, you know. I've got some ideas for how I can do, like, a little more interaction, I think, but there are definitely some extensions I can use. Like, there's one I saw today that basically adds a little character to the bottom of the screen for the people that are in, active in chat. So if you're active in chat, you get a little character to the bottom of the screen that just kind of hangs out. You know? And hey, the entire, um, The entire stream is set up as basically a theater, so... Might as well play off that and make an audience, right? It really has been a while since I've done this kind of art. I've kind of felt like I've stagnated with my art. Which has felt real bad, just because I haven't been doing it lately. And that's kind of like the main purpose of these streams, because it, it, it's a way of me forcing myself to do art more. Because hey, let's see, as we said earlier, practice does make perfect, eh, which sucks, first of all. I hate that. Why do I have to practice if want to be good at something? <laughs> like, I get it, I understand why, but I'd rather not have to. It's just annoying. It's annoying that's correct. It's annoying that all the artists that have spoken to me in the past are like, Oh, how do I get better at art? Oh, practice! Hate they're always right. But of course they are. They're the ones that have been going through it all. They're the ones that decided this. It's not even just art, it's all skills. If you want to get better at any skill, you just have to practice it. Very annoying. You gotta level up your skills, bro. You know how it is. You've played an RPG, right? Body line two. Body line three.
There we go. Okay. Back to this layer. But anyway, like... They're all right. They're all correct. I wish I could just be better at things now and then. But then again, it is kind of about that journey that makes it so much more worth it. Because I would never... I would never have developed my style the way it has, if not for my own restrictions. Because... All of this came from the product of me thinking, okay, what can I do? And how do I make that look good? And this entire style was the product of that. Alright, the wires for this guy. I think having them red would be a good change, but I think the green will be better for this guy. Maybe a nice blue, like bright blue. But the red makes it seem more like it is blood. So there's kind of like that, which, which do I want to go for? Hmm. Yeah. These guys are basically powered by uh, interdimensional energy sources. So it's kind of like, huh. Would they have oil? Probably. What else lubricates their joints? Oh boy, I love lubricant. Yeah, the red might be better as it might just stand out more in the future. change the color later anyway. Might as well pick something that stands out. Go with this next. 
it could be good just to do simple stuff today. And this is very much like getting back into it. Yeah. Oh, something I am considering for a follower goal is what if I make a hardcore Minecraft world when we reach the follower goal, but I open the world up to anyone that's viewing. So it's a server, the server IP address will be on, on the channel and you get to join as long as you see it. But it's hardcore for everyone. So if they die, I'm sorry, but you get banned after that. I'm thinking that could actually be a really interesting idea. <laughs> Another possibility would be um, similar, but instead of hardcore, we do a modded thing. But if we do modded, that means it becomes a series. And the idea would be the server's only live for when I am when I'm live. So, you know, you know, you know, it's a possibility. It'd be harder to do because it means I'd have to cut out a time slot for it. Which I really just don't have that much time at the moment. With the hardcore thing, it ends when I die. And you guys get to just be along for the ride. Do people really want like this kind of style with their stuff? And the thought is, art's good for me. Like I love doing it, but it can be hard to get the motivation to keep it up. Especially now when I'm so limited on time. very hard to just get yeah, right now it's just it is just a matter of do I have the time slots available to add more things and I don't think so I think I am streaming as much as I can right now it's three days a week now which is more than I ever have and I'm also busier than I've ever been before at the same time like I've got work and cl and I have school and I'm streaming three days a week. This, I guess the main reason I do it is because I enjoy it though. Like I, I do genuinely enjoy streaming. It is a ton of fun. I love being able to interact with people in my chat as well. So it's nice having in the viewers I do. It's like yeah, it's not super popular here, but like like look, we're at six viewers right now. And that's higher than I was in the past, like quite a decent amount. Like for a long time I was sitting at zero. And even then it was fun to just kind of get my creations out there. Yeah. I'm glad you enjoy it here. Well, 
Do you want me to call you Wallenter, Wallenter Magnolia or Magnolia? Do you want a uh, like shorter version? Yes, I don't know. And also you stick around here a decent amount, so I might as well like call you as you'd like. But yeah. Anyway, but like, yeah. I do genuinely enjoy talking to my chat these days. Hence, actually some of my friends said, God damn it, you talk like better to your chat than you do people in real life. Like, you know what, that is, that is very fair. That's a fair criticism of me. Because <laughs> I can be relatively shy at the same time. How fucking dare you, you little bitch! Get the nasty nasty out of here. I also might change this color to more match the red. Switch it up now and then, and then you'll never know which one I'm gonna call you. Huh, how do you like that? say my other many names. <laughs> That's the fun part. I get to do whatever the hell I want. It's my channel, my rules, my house now. We should put this here and then erase this section. That's the wrong one.
Alright. That's good. That's good there. Like how it's splattered up all of it. that bit and just kind of okay that looks pretty good maybe we had to have some more of it around here yeah this layer style this as well. I love having the constellation like effect in some of these just black areas, but at the same time just the complete stark blackness really stands out here. size this up, thank you very much. Good night, Krim. Thank you for joining for as long as you have. Enjoy your night, enjoy your night. That's an ear in my mouth. That makes no sense if you don't understand the mug I'm drinking out of. It's a relatively inconvenient mug to drink out of. You have to, like, drink between the cat ears. And what kind of moth do I like? I think there's a type of fire moth, if I remember correctly. Or is that a snail? There's a lot of really good moths. I am also just a, honestly quite a fan of monarch butterflies. Ooh, cinnabar moths? What are those? Ooh, that's a good looking moth. I 
Honestly, Luna Moths as well are quite quite nice looking. Um, the, what are the other ones? A lot of them are just really good. Um, what's it called? Some of the really good... What is that called? My man. I can't think today. I am quite tired, I'll be honest. I don't remember what they're called now. Oh, the highly camouflaged mods are really good too. Just, they aren't like, pretty in the same sense. But, they very much have their own type of beauty, which is really cool. You just don't get that much in nature. Really unique camouflage is just, just so cool, right? Fuck. There we go. Okay, figured it out. I don't know if I do, I'll be honest. A lot of insects are just really cool. Now I found out, is this is a gold drop. Gold drop helicopus? That's a pretty one. It's got like I can see why it's called the gold drop because it looks like uh, a drop of paint that struck a center and spread from there. I get that. Weevils are interesting. I'm not the biggest fan of them personally. Isopods are always fun as well. That being said, I'm not a fan of eating isopods. Such as... Shrimps are isopods, right? No, they're, um... What's a shrimp? Shrimps are arthropods, that's it. I'm not a big fan of eating the arthropoda or the mollusk family. Earwigs are something else. I think they go by a different name for me in America. Yes. In America, we call them pincher bugs. They got that little pincher at the back. Alright, let's go with the green for now. We'll set this to six. And start figuring it out.
Yeah, we call them pincher bugs here in the United States. As with um, pill bugs, we call them roly polies typically. At least from my region. Not everyone calls them that, but in my region they do. And with that, you can determine approximately where I live. Also, you can determine approximately where I live based on my, um, my accent, effectively. Yeah, the way I say a lot of things will very much determine almost everything about me. But then again, I have previously said on the stream, yes, I am from California originally. And not only that, but I have been known to have a quote-unquote Hollywood accent. I don't really know what that means, I'll be honest, but, you know, as it goes, as it goes. Spin this bad boy around and stab it in the man's eye. Right, let's size it down a little bit. You ever want to just penetrate a robot? That's what we're doing today. Robot penetration. Okay, that looks pretty good. I just stuck a ear in my mouth again. And it's well in there, my man. Like, that sword is well in his head. It is not coming out. He's trying. Stabbed in the eye by a giant sword. It's a promise. When I reach 100 followers, I will stab you personally. I feel like my friend won't give me any more of the soap orbies. Soap orbies. Like, I know what Orbeez are, but I don't know the soap ones. Mm. 
Mm -mm. Now that's how you combat it. Spit the sword back in my face. Do what you will. Let's go with a nice dark, because the hand tends to dark in these kind of areas. Leather is just such an optimal material almost all the time. Sue scented Orbeez. What do they smell of? remember the smell, but you do remember the taste. Alright. Good for you, you know? Good for you. his times of this mortal coil, whatever it may be, artificial or not, I think they're soon to be over. There's a lot of things that you could eat that can kill you. Like... There's a lot of things. I just like it a lot. 
I think I started to like it from the t time Shrine killed me. And I was using it for that. Speaking of, that is a great image. Let's pull that thing out. This was a good one. I honestly really like this piece. It it took me a long time, but it's also not perfect. There's plenty of things I don't like about it, but it turned out really good. I always love drawing myself getting murdered. It's great. But specifically this dripping effect at the, at the like from the ceiling. Because it was crying obsidian in the ceiling, so I kind of wanted to like preserve that. I felt it like really added to the background. By the way, this is a purchasable piece. You can get it from my art station. So if you want to have a picture of Shrine killing me, you can buy that. This has enough like grays in it. I think we have grays and blacks and such. they're so resolu low resolution is mostly because they're going to be quite small and I didn't want to have to have lots of high resolution images when I first did it and I'm stuck in this pattern like I could go go larger if I wanted but I feel like at least for the first set they all have to be like this and then once the first set of cards is done then I can think about increasing the quality but only then, because I, for the love of God, I need to just finish this thing. Because this is a massive project. is over there today. The audio apparently seems pretty good, so I really don't need to have my mic like right in front of me. I currently have it on like the side of my desk. We could ruin a rug. That's sexy. I want to have a bit of a trim to this place. And think of the base color. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We're gonna just... The color doesn't matter. We're just gonna go for it. And then, when we have what we want, then we'll deal with it.
if I just match this up here, I can just keep doing this. Have like red brick. Back would actually work really well because this is very much a tricolor painting with kind of this mix of kind of just red, gray, and brown. Red, gray, and brown. Like those, those are the main three colors this entire piece. some actual lines on there though. As per usual, we'll start with a completely different contrasting color.
these don't have to be exact lines at all. Also, they probably shouldn't be at all. Just cause like... You know. None of these are even gonna be that visible. I'm gonna completely change the color of this. And it's gonna be very much about... What's kind of there, but not really. I'll clean it up a bit here and there. Obviously, I don't want it to be terrible. back to the red, kind of get like that color there. That I think will be good. Color it all that. Kind of like add some bits here and there. Add some bits here and there. Like that and drop the opacity right down. So it's kind of there. And then the last touch of those, a little bit of blur. I'm starting to think this wall looks like flesh though. What's with me in making flesh? I love me some flesh. change this wall a little bit. We'll give it an overlay effect so that way it doesn't look too fleshy. Like it already looks quite fleshy to be honest, but you know, it happens. Sometimes we accidentally make flesh, okay? It happens. You gotta deal with it. Mmm, flesh.
This tool. All right, come on, let's get rid of it. Get rid of that disgusting. Head. Yeah, sure. Tell me, what do scented Orbeez taste like? They, I hope they taste of orbs and nothing more. a bit like soap, but more soft. Uh, so a softer flavor or a softer texture? What are you, what are you disgusting here? Disgusting? Yeah, you are, yeah, you're disgusting here. That's what you are. No, but like, soft how, my man. Like a soft flavor is something that's a little more delicate. Something like a very nice, like, vanilla can be quite a soft flavor, because it's a delicate floral taste. Or you can have something soft in the sense of, like, a custard is quite soft and silky. What kind of soap were you eating, I think is another, con another thing I should ask. Okay, so from scented Orbeez to soap. Scented Orbeez are softer texture, yes, but also they have a more delicate flavor. So it's like bad boba that crumbles. That's what I'm getting from this. Orbeez are like bad boba, okay. Interesting. I'm not really sure what to do with this, this information, but thank you for it. your new title. Ooh, uh, this is a tool I actually really like to use sometimes. It's hard to find a good place for it because it always goes on the, on some of the like other um, colors and it doesn't always fit, but it's always fun to use. It always produces interesting effects. It's cool. I can drop the opacity of it and then it can actually work in this, possibly. It's a very interesting brush. It's very cool.
let's put another layer in. Because you know me, I love my layers. Sometimes you just gotta go simple, you know? This is definitely a piece that's more about me getting back into the shape. The shape. Back in the flow of things. More than, than any actual progress. Like, it, it, I want it to look good, yes. But I don't want, I don't need it to be incredible. Do I ever just spin all the time? Like, literally all the time. It, it's kind of ridiculous, I'll admit. Specifically, when I have access to a spinny chair, I spin as often as I can for it, which is a lot. Some of the actual, um, some of the chairs at work are really frictionless, and it is really fun to play with those. I did it myself, but like, I, I feel like someone else could do a bit better. So I ordered a new commission link recently, and I'm hoping to see where it goes. I'm interested to see how, I'm always interested to see how other people interpret my character. It's always very interesting. Kind of. The character is effectively, um... In actuality, he's a demon. And he's a cursed demon that cut off his own wings to escape whatever life he had. And in doing so, it condemned him and cursed him. But at the same time, it gave him freedom, which is exactly what he wanted. And it allowed him to kind of reach new heights. And his beheading is what brought him to the ascended form.
So he's basically just like a demon that um, very much is all about, that is basically, his head has now been replaced with flames powered by his soul. And the wings are just to represent the angelic ascension that he has faced. Yeah, pretty much. Headless Horseman type, but originally Demon. So he's a demonic entity, one way or the other. It's just kind of my Sona that I completely designed myself, and I've genuinely grown quite attached to him. I like him a lot. He's a delightful little boy. about my art style is I've completely retaught myself how to draw effectively just just to get into the digital mindset because it has been a trial getting here my man like it has really been a trial This is something I never used to do. Shading layers. Who the hell does a shading layer? Professionals. I hate it. Ground also just like this style of drawing. It's not what my roots are in. My roots are very much in the form of um, pencil and ink. That is definitely my specialty and what I've grown used to. But it's also kind of like what I fall out of practice with the easiest. Now that's kind of a lie. Like I've done a lot of other kinds of drawing and painting and everything. Because I've done I've done pencil, I've done ink, I've done acrylics, I've done watercolors, I've done ceramics, I've done leatherworking, I've done all kinds of different kinds of art forms. But the one I always come back to is pencil and ink.
this guy could use some more red to him. I think that works better as lighting along with it. I actually kind of really like this. This definitely started as something I really didn't care for, and it's shaped up into something much better. Now I need to figure out if it fully fits. Does it still fit what I was going to make it? Or is there another card that it would work for? Because originally this was going to be the card out with the hole. Which also a card I actually did already. But, um... I wonder if there's just like a destruction spell this would work for instead. That's what it is. It's out with the old indeed. Yeah, this is my style of digital art. And in comparison to my style of traditional art, which you can see on my Twitter, um, it's very different. The styles are completely different. It's kind of impressive, honestly. Well, I'm pretty happy with this. Let's save this bad boy. Oh, before I do that, I had to rename something. Okay, so I have a card already for out with the old. This one, okay. So, where is Remember the Past? No, Past Decisions. So, C43, Past Decisions. Where 
where is where what was the code for this one? How would the old U39? Way better than I anticipated. Actually, it didn't. It turned out completely different than I anticipated. Then I thought it was gonna be bad, and now I'm glad this is good again. I wonder if there's anyone to raid today. Ah, oh, Cyberpunk's live again. I can raid him again. Yeah, it's night for me. I'm heading to bed pretty much after this. Got some things to wrap up before, but it has been a ton of fun. Yeah, I'll race Iron Man. Why not? He was a cool guy before, I'll do it again. Yep. I'll be seeing you guys around. Have fun, have fun. See you on Saturday with another stream. Goodbye for now, everyone.